By the time you know it, I was a changed man. I was stuck up in the game, chasing money in the fame. Popping bottles in the club to help me take away the pain. By the time I look back through my Versace shades, I didn't even recognize the man I became. Paranoid thinking by using my nine. I said, God, we need to talk. I think I'm losing my mind. Excuse me. I just had to get that run in real quick. Anyway, like I was saying, I've done enough hallucinogenic drugs in my life to know that there's a spiritual reality, a spiritual realm. There's a spiritual realm out here that's operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week in this world that we're living in. And just because we can't see it with our two eyes, it's here. And just like there's negative and positive, there's good and there's bad, there's gotta be a governing force over that good, those good spirits and a governing force over them dark spirits. And which one are you gonna serve? You can only serve one. So which one are you serving? And I started to look back at my life and analyzing my life and the ups and downs in my life and realize that I've been serving the darkness for a long time. And it wasn't until the beginning of this year when I started reading more, praying every day and started trying to really live a positive lifestyle and putting a positive message out there and positive imagery out there instead of the negative imagery that I had been putting out there. And instead of trying to flex on everybody, instead of trying to, you know, talk about the negative stuff that goes on the hood, like the drugs and the violence, started being more about family and relationships and loving and putting more positive imagery out there. That's when my life started to turn around. That's when the haters went away. I had more haters back then. Now that I started to put out nothing but love and positivity, that's all I've been getting back. At the end of last year, I had hired a business coach. Shout out to Caesar, Coach C. Around October of last year, 2019, I hired a business coach. I was making about $10,000, $15,000 a month, but at the end of the month, every month, I was broke. I was you know, barely paying my bills, laid on my bills, in debt with credit cards. I was spending more than I was making, basically. And I couldn't figure it out. So I hired a business coach. I told him to come in and look at my finances, look at my business, and see how he can take me, you know, maybe double my income. And he told me, yeah, I can double your income, but you're still gonna have the same problem. You're always gonna have that problem if you don't fix yourself. You have to discipline yourself. And so he introduced me to what they call personal development and self-discipline. He started giving me these books. Oh, and by the way, he did get the finances up. He did get, he got that done. You know what I'm saying? But then by January, I was in the same boat. He was right. I had still spent all my money. You know, Christmas came around, did it big for Christmas. January came around, I was struggling. My bank account was $2,000 in the negative. I was behind on credit cards, behind on bills. So I said, man, this year, I'm gonna stick to my New Year's resolution. I'm gonna listen to this coach that I hired. And I'm gonna listen to these books that I'm reading and they were all saying the same thing, basically. You had to discipline yourself, be positive, and have faith. You had to have faith. They all talked about faith. And they also said you had to have a morning routine that you did day in and day out every day, seven days a week. So I said, okay, this is gonna be my New Year's resolution and I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna give myself one year and see what happens. I'm gonna see if my life turns around. I'm gonna see if these books are right. I'm gonna see if this coach was right. I'm gonna see what happens. So I started praying every morning. I started reading every day and started running every morning. You know, it might've been raining one day. I couldn't get out there and run if it was raining too bad or when we're in the hospital having the baby. But other than that, I was out here. And not only did my bank account grow, because in actuality, that's what I started this whole journey off for was for the financial reasons, financial purposes only. I wasn't trying to find God. I wasn't looking for Jesus or nothing. But that didn't happen until I started changing my life and I gave some up for God, which I stopped putting poisons in my body. I stopped having lustful thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I still mess up from time to time, but for the most part, I'm changing, I'm growing every day. And I stopped, you know, doing the things I used to do and I stayed disciplined with myself. And God saw that I was disciplined and he met me halfway. I started meeting people like Pastor Juan, shout out to Pastor Juan. He just hit me up out the blue on my Instagram one day. 
You know what I'm saying? He introduced me to Brian Trejo. Who we got a good relationship. He shoots me scriptures every day on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Looks out for me. I just started meeting more people that were really uh, into the word of God. And not only were they just, you know, talking about it, but they really about it. They were really out here ministering to people. And I started reading the scriptures and I started reading the Bible. And a lot of these things that they were talking about, like in Proverbs and the different books that I was reading in the Bible, were basically the same thing that these, you know, uh, motivational and personal development books were saying. They were just using different terminology. And in the Bible, they were putting God first at the center of everything. And, you know, saying, making, making it all about God. And, you know, following God's will. It's not your will, it's God's will. I used to pray for things. Now it's like, I pray that I'm able to see God's will in things. If it's God's will, then let it be. I pray for wisdom now, wisdom and knowledge. And I'm thankful for my platform that I have so I can help people and, you know what I'm saying, get people out of the struggle, out of the mess that I was in. I know there's a lot of people out there still struggling and still going through that mess. And I'm letting you know you can change your life. You really can change your life. If you stay disciplined and focused and put God first, he'll show up in your life. A lot of times we want to say, if God was real, he wouldn't have let this happen to me, or this wouldn't have happened if, if there was a God. But you got to understand, there's a devil too. There's a Satan too. There's evil spirits out here too. And that's who we're fighting against every day in this spiritual warfare. And that's why you got to be armed with the word of God every day. You got to come out here just like when you're in the streets, you got to be out there strapped. Well, you got to be strapped with the word of God when you're out here because there's spiritual warfare that we're fighting every day you know what i'm saying and these demons is fighting for our souls out here you know what i'm saying so we you see the world we're living in you see what's going on out here and the world is turning news on that's why we got to be strong in our faith and we got to be disciplined with ourselves so we can be able to stand up and fight i hope you have a great day god bless you i got homies doing life and they so proud to see this shit and they wishing that they had another shot to make a change don't you wait till it's too late for you get caught up in the